and the chairperson of the summit, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda, member of the summit, His Excellency Antoine Chisekedi Shirombo, President of DRC, and now a new member. The chair person spoke. I don't know why you want so many people to speak. <laughs> to dilute words. But I just want to remind Africans. Because Africans need a lot of reminding. I don't know why that when we talk of integration, we are talking of three things. Number one, prosperity. It's not about leaders and ministers and council, because you spend a lot of time on those. Council, ministers, what secretary general. This is about families families of Africans, is what we are talking about. The question is, if I am a businessman or a businesswoman and I produce a good or a service, how many people will buy from me? That's the issue. In order for my family, forget about ministers, presidents, what, what? The families. I have a business. I have produced a good or a service. The good thing in Africa is that people are asleep. When you are asleep, it is also good because you don't know what you are missing. Now, Ugandans were asleep for a long time. And that's why they were busy with the tribes, with the religion, divided. When our group came and woke them up, they have started producing a little bit. They are still asleep, but they are waking up a bit. So when they start producing, like me, I am a cattle keeper. I produce beef, I produce uh, milk, I produce bananas. Uganda already has a surplus of all those. We're producing 2.8 billion liters of milk. Uganda is consuming only 800 million. Surplus of 2 billion. Where do you sell it? If you don't sell it, prosperity will not grow. The same with maize, the same with industrial products. So this is the first thing. If you want prosperity in Africa, the way forward is integration. Why market, market? internal within Uganda, regional within East Africa, then Africa. But then you can also negotiate better with the bigger markets outside. Because if you have got a big market of your own, you can go to the Americans and you say, if you don't give me this, I will also not give you this. So this big market helps us also, also to negotiate better for access to other markets. So this is point number one. Number two, Strategic security. How can we be secure? Because you see the terrorism. In Somalia, there is a problem, it affects Kenya. There is a problem in Congo, it affects uh, Uganda. There is a problem in Uganda, it affects uh, Congo. And yet we don't work together to solve these problems. The problems are pan-Africanist, they are global, but we act parochially. How shall we manage? 
if, if the problems are Pan-Africanists, we must be also Pan-Africanists in handling them. This is the second word in integration, strategic security. Finally, fortunately, as His Excellency Uhuru said, for us, actually, things are very easy. There's a third word, brotherhood, undugu. These people are trying to unite. Are they really very difficult to unite? But they are, they are similar people. Mulembe. Makwa. Aha. I'm speaking, I'm speaking with that man there. He's a lawyer from Western Kenya. You can go into DRC. I can go to Bunya and address a public meeting in my local language. And they will hear what I'm saying. Bunya in Congo. President Kagame can go to Ruchuru and speak in Rwanda, and people will, 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 will understand him. Ruchuru is a, is a, a part of, of Congo. My daughter here, the minister, can go and speak law in Mahagi. Mahagi Port, they will understand what, what, what she said. You, you must have heard people during the olden days, they used to say that Idi Amin was a Congolese, was a Sudanese. It is partly true. Because Idi Amin's tribe, the Kakwa, go deep into, into, into Congo, the, the Kakwa. So first of all, there are these here in, in, in Kenya, the Bateso, they are here. The, 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 the Luyas, the uh, Moyes tribe, the Karenjin, they are, they, are, they are in Uganda. The, the Turkanas, apart from stealing my cows, but... <laughs> so these are, these are all linked people. But above all, we have, as His Excellency Kenyatta was saying, we have what Europe does not have, a common language, Swahili. Why don't we use this social infrastructure, historical infrastructure, to work for the other two, 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 two targets, prosperity and strategic security? And then you, 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 you happen to be lucky to, to also have the social historical infrastructure of, of, of culture and above all, a common language. In Europe, you saw what, what the problem they had about what language do you use? English, German, Francais, they're a bit stuck. That's why they cannot move as fast. But here we don't have that problem. The, the, I want to help his excellency Kenyatta. The quotation he made here, he, he missed out one something. This was the debate in 1963 about the East African Federation in the parliament of Uganda. There was a man called Ab Mayanja who, who had a, a speech problem, speaking with the lip, 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 lisping, lisping. The people who say fa, fa instead of s. Oburimi, we call it in our language. If you don't have it in Swahili, I will give you the Neno Labara. Oburimi. This man was speaking Oburimi, Ab Mayanja. So he was criticizing your body. Because, of, you know, we're moving on the East African Federation. Then your body started developing you called feet. So Ab Mayanja said in, in his speech, some people, Thumb, it was speaking like that. Some people want to remain big feces in small ponds. That's it, was, it is a big fish in a small pond. But he said it in, in that funny manner. I thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Museveni, and we really want to thank you for your very enduring commitment to integration in East Africa and beyond.
Uh, may I now invite President uh, Paul Kagame, the President of Rwanda, to make some remarks.